One of the international speakers at last week's Outlook conference in Canberra on food security was Dr Greg Traxler. An agricultural economist by training, he now manages a $300 million a year portfolio of research, education and agricultural support grants on behalf of Microsoft founder Bill Gates. Dr Greg Traxler from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, welcome to Landline. Thank you very much. The foundation actually has a strong focus on agriculture. What percentage of the foundation actually goes towards agriculture? At present, about 15% of total granting goes to agricultural development. Uh, we've, uh, our grants are focused in two areas of the world, Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. Your presentation here focuses on food security. What's your definition of food security? Well, food security is that uh, every individual has the, has the right to access to a safe and secure food supply that's nutritious, providing adequate energy and nutrition uh, at, at uh, all times. So it's not just a quantity of food, it's quality. Everyone's entitled to sufficient vitamins. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there uh, is a, a very serious problem in the world is the, the uh, lack of micronutrients and adequate nutrition, various uh, factors in the diet that are missing. So uh, if there's maybe something like a billion people that uh, are lacking access to adequate energy supply, there may be twice that number that... Uh, in addition to lacking that, are also lacking some uh, important nutrient in the diet. What role then does Australia play in relation to food security? Well, Australia has an immensely important role. Uh, it, it is a global economy. It's a global food balance is very important. Uh, I think that we saw in 2008 that uh, when Australia uh, was suffering from the drought and world food prices started to uh, spike, uh, the amount of hunger uh, and food insecurity in the world uh, increased. Uh, so uh, it, it's very important to distinguish uh, between the concepts of food self-sufficiency, in which each country of the world would try and produce its own food supply, and food security, which is access to food. Uh, uh, Australia's uh, immensely productive agricultural sector uh, the continuing uh, level of exports at, uh, at uh, such uh, uh, um, an important part of the world food supply equation makes Australia a key player. How much of a difference do domestic ag policies or indeed trade and tariff policies make then? Uh, they're, they're critical. Uh, the, the maybe uh, two pillars, if you will, of food security are adequate production, but then open trade and access to food as uh, countries start to uh, close their borders to the export of food or uh, try and uh, implement things like import tariffs on food. Uh, the access to food of, of uh, individuals within food deficit countries uh, declines and it, it leads to hunger, it leads to uh, uh, malnutrition. Quite topical in Australia at the moment is how we should or some say should not donate to overseas countries, in particular our closest neighbours such as Indonesia, when we've recently been hit by disasters that will cost in the billions of dollars. What's your thoughts on how wealthy countries such as Australia should view or balance foreign aid under tough circumstances? Oh, that's a, that's a very difficult question. Uh, the... Uh, the, it, it, it is a, a world, uh, uh, very integrated world. Uh, it's, it's kind of a natural reaction to want to take care of your own at first, but I think we have to recognize, uh, whether you, uh, Americans or Australians, that we're immensely fortunate. Uh, there are others in the world that uh, uh, just the idea that uh, you'd have to send your child to bed hungry is... Uh, in, in, has an immense impact. If you can just imagine, not just the fact that you individually would be hungry, but the fact that uh, you would day after day have to send your children to bed hungry. Uh, I, I think that Australians can, can very well appreciate the importance of continuing to support, do what they can for uh, food security in other countries, uh, Indonesia, your Asian neighbors, uh, neighbors in Africa. So uh, it's, it, it's a difficult balance to make. Uh, particularly at these times when uh, Australia has been hit with so many uh, uh, tragic uh, uh, natural events. But uh, it, I think it's important to maintain the commitment to feeding the world. 
Dr. Greg Traxler, it's a privilege to have you here. Thanks for joining us on Landline. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a wonderful conference and I appreciate the chance to be on your program.